what's going on guys um just wanted to make a quick second video for you here on uh the uvi vintage vault um sorry about if you can hear the noise in the background there's kind of a wild party going on but um i just kind of was messing around the other night and wrote this song very quickly but i just want to show you how easy it is to make something good um pretty quickly with the uh the uvi vintage vault software in my last video i told you how easy it is to incorporate it with uh in logic pro but i feel like i failed to show you how you actually do that so what you want to do to use the um, vintage vault with like midi is you create a new track you go to software instrument and it's going to bring up the electric piano default it's like a logic thing so you just go into au instruments click uvi uvi workstation stereo and that'll bring up the uvi workstation same thing as opening up except now it's incorporated in logic so say for example i want to use the mellotron strings just want to make sure that's on omni and then we'll play a note and then if you can see it's picking up instrument eight you'll see to the left it's picking up the notes so now that's recording directly into logic which is great so i'm just going to go ahead and delete that track since i don't need it and um for this particular track i was messing around with this is the wave runner orange um wave runner has a few different things but um like i said i was messing around with orange and i, I was liking the way that the sound so this particular sound is called maribel i'll solo it for you kind of a nice uh you know bell old school bell sounding so i started off with that track mute that for you and then the next track i have is same thing i believe it's still wave runner orange but this is short lead and it's just another one of the leads and uh, let's play this one I know you guys are probably all saying that, you know, this is a very slow song. I forget what the forget what the tempo is. It's 76, but once you hear uh you hear everything else kick in, it'll make a little bit more sense. I'm just going through the individual tracks real quick. So we got that. Oop, you weren't supposed to hear that yet, but so for this next one is the strings, and this is not the um the wave runner orange i switched it up and we're on the vector pro 22 i believe it's, yeah vector pro 22 under pads and this is called old field and it's a nice string sound actually i believe this is the second string because i have uh two strings but this is one of them kind of a nice uh ominous type of string old school sound string so that's nice. And then I really like this next one that I'm about to play. And this is the sorry, some emotional strings, which is part of the U one U twelve fifty. And it's under orchestra. So I'll play this. another nice you know orchestral string sound i'm a really big string fan so so we get that what one is this oh yes this is my drums of course so this i'm using the 505 which i believe is a roland tr505 if i'm not mistaken i really dig the, the sound of the snare on this so what i just did is i threw a little bit of uh space space designer which is like a reverb i mean they have they have a few different ones but i really i really like this for this track and i'll show you when everything's put together i think you'll you'll agree with me 
So we have that. Only a couple. We're getting to the last few tracks here. Another kind of brassy type of analog sound. This is analog piano in Wave Runner Orange. So like I said, a great majority of these sounds are Wave Runner Orange because I was just messing around with it and I really liked um, a few sounds there. So there's that one. And then the last track is just the bass track, which is also Wave Runner Orange. 505 Machine. Which is under pads. Alright, now I'm going to let you guys listen to the whole track, everything together. Like I said, I know it's slow, but once the drums kick in, it, I think it gets a little bit better. So, uh, you know, you're getting, uh, I don't usually show people this stuff, but I just want to show you guys, like I said, that you can do some really cool things with this uh, UVI Vintage Vault. I mean, that's the whole reason I wanted to get it, is to make these old school inspired tracks and so far i think i'm doing a pretty good job and i'm very very impressed with the the results so i'm gonna play this track for you i probably won't play the whole thing because it's kind of a, a loop once the drums come in but you'll get an idea of how it goes Like I said, I thought it was pretty cool, and you know, it didn't take me too long to make, and it's something that sounds really good to me for something that was created in such short time. Um, what I did is I have a Korg Chrome workstation, so what I did is I just played the notes into that, and you know, quantized them and everything, and then played the mini back into my Logic Pro, and then changed the sounds with the UVI Vintage Vault workstations. Found s some sounds that. Pl uh, sounded good to me and like i said mostly for this one i used the wave runner orange um but there's you know so many other sounds like i showed you in the first video you know we just have uh 
like I said, this is still the second video, and there's still so much that I have to show you guys. Um, sorry, this is... I guess we got a lot of uh, processing going on, but, you know, we got Peabot's Anthology, CSM, you know, we'll let you take all these without listening to my annoying voice, but there's still a lot of stuff to go over. So, like I said, I'm, I'm personally just starting to get into this, uh, software. I've had it for a little bit now, but I'm kind of just starting to get to getting the time to sit down with it. So as I learn things about it, I'm going to be making these videos, um, just to show you guys what I'm learning and w what sounds I think are cool. But obviously I encourage you all to purchase this if, you know, you're into that, uh, analog 80s thing like myself because you know you can do some great stuff with it so thank you i hope you enjoyed this video sorry we weren't really exploring too much i just wanted to show you this quick thing that i whipped up using everything in here was with the uvi uh vintage vault even the drums they were from the uh i think this is the no that's not the drums what are the drums right here they were using the um I think this is actually the uh, Beatbox Anthology. Yep, so this is Beatbox Anthology Digital 505, and they have 626 and all these other ones. So pretty cool that, you know, you can make a full song in, uh, in Vintage Vault. Usually I have to go into my Native Instruments machine to add drums, but this has all the, the analog drums already all set for you, so that's that's really uh, makes it easy. So thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for the n next video, which uh, it'll be on maybe a couple more of the uh, sound banks on here. So thanks for watching. Take care, guys.